everyone, I am here with Freddie, our American alligator. Um, Freddie here actually just had her dinner and um, <laughs> there you have it. She's eating her rats, yum, yum, yum. So yes, this is Florida and you can assume that every, uh, practically every fresh body of water has an alligator in it. While alligators are powerful animals and many people are fearful of them, please know that alligators typically avoid humans. Alligator attacks in Florida are extremely rare. Uh, over the last 77 years, there have been 500 attacks and out of those 500 attacks, 27 of them were fatal. So alligators have a natural fear of humans. If you are walking on a trail and an alligator is on the trail, typically they're actually going to walk away from you and potentially even just e escape into the water. So attacks by alligators are often linked to risky human behavior. Um, that's not aggression by the alligator. Um, there are a couple of reasons why an alligator might attack a human, and that's typically if they feel provoked or if they feel threatened. That means that we might be getting a little too close to them. We might be um, getting too close to their nest or, or too close to their babies. So we also wanna avoid feeding alligators. Um, a lot of times you'll see that people might throw things at an alligator and they start to associate people with food and that can be very, very dangerous. Um, we definitely don't want alligators approaching people thinking that um, we are going to be feeding them. If you come across an alligator in the wild, please keep a safe distance from them. We're talking at least 60 feet away. Um, we can coexist with these magnificent creatures by um, giving them space and the respect that they deserve. Please follow all posted signage if you're in any kind of a natural area. Maintain a safe distance from the alligators. Um, do not feed them and simply be aware of your surroundings. Just kind of doing a double check of, of your environment can keep you safe from these alligators here. Alligators are Florida state reptile. Um, they have been Florida state reptile since 1987. They are vital to the ecosystem. They deserve that title. So they are engineers of the Everglades. Our alligators create what are called gator holes. So what they're basically going to do is take their bodies and they're going to wallow them into the water, wallow them into the dirt. Um, their long tail is going to help to kind of flesh out that, that soil. And they're essentially going to create this depression in the water where it's going to actually hit the water table. So during any kind of extreme dry season or during a drought, that gator hole is actually going to maintain water and it's going to provide not only a habitat, a space for our beautiful alligator to live, but also for plenty of other animals. We're talking turtles, fish, birds, wading birds, tons of different kinds of mammals, including raccoons, deer, rabbits, to come and get a fresh drink of water. Alligators have been around for about 37 million years, and I'd love to see them around for 37 million more. Um, they play an important role in the ecosystem by creating those gator holes. Um, they also play an important role uh, in food chains, both as food and as apex predators and they contribute to the overall health and well-being of our environment. They play an important role in our environment by creating Are you burping? I think she's burping. <laughs>